my dear students so the question for today is calculate the magnitude and direction of the coulomb force on each of the three charges shown in figure uh, here is the figure in which we are given three charges uh, one is of 6 micro coulomb uh, another is of 1.5 micro coulomb and other is of minus 2 micro coulomb and we are given the distance between the charges and we have to find out the magnitude and direction of the coulomb force on each of these charges so let's start solving this question the first step in uh, every question is to make a free body diagram so uh, before making a free body diagram for our convenience let us assume that this is our charge a this is our charge b and this is our charge c so now if I want to uh, find out the magnitude and direction of this charge A, I have to make a free body diagram of this charge A. So there will be two forces that are acting on charge A. The first force that is uh, this B charge, it will repel A because these two are positive. So it will repel. So the direction of this force is towards this side, repulsion. Right, students, and charge C being positively charged, it will attract charge A towards itself. So the direction of C force will be towards this side. So the free body diagram of this A charge will be uh, like this. Okay, students, so now uh, because these are the Coulomb forces, so we will have to apply Coulomb force and there is no Y axis. There will be only X axis. It's very obvious. So when we will take out the summation of all forces that are on charge a we can write it as summation of forces that are on charge a so the first force is fba and another force is fca but notice that this force has positive direction whereas this force is towards negative direction how because if i uh, this is my positive x-axis this is my negative x-axis so uh, it will be fca being positively charged minus FBA because of the direction it's negative so right students so FCA and FBA are Coulomb's forces we know that Coulomb's equation is K Q1 Q2 over R square in this case our Q is uh, charge C charge A let me just write it K Q C Q A over R square minus for FBA it will be K Q B Q A over r square now let me just put uh, all the values in this and we have to put the values in a standard unit remember this thing uh, the value of k is 8.9 and exponent 9 we know that so we will write 8.9 and exponent 9 qc means the magnitude of charge c that is minus 2 micro coulomb so we will convert it into a uh, standard unit so it will be minus 2 exponent minus 6 for charge a it's 6 micro coulomb so it will be 6 exponent minus 6 over distance of char between charge c and a so it is my charge a this is my charge c so the distance is this whole distance 3 plus 2 that is 5 but in a standard unit it will be 5 exponent minus 2 because the standard unit will be meter not centimeter so a square minus this expression that is 8.99 exponent 9 then qb that is 1.5 micro coulomb so it will be 1.5 exponent minus 6 then QA that is 6 micro coulomb so it will be 6 exponent minus 6 and the distance between charge A to B is 3 centimeter but in standard units it will be 3 exponent minus 2 square. So now when you will plug in all these values in your calculator you will get minus 46.7 newton that is sum of all forces that are on charge A so it means that this force is towards left why left because of this negative charge so this is for my charge a now for charge b because we have to find out all the forces uh, on each charge right students so now uh, for charge b um, charge a being positively it will repel charge a so 
it will repel in this direction and charge C being positively charged it will attract charge B towards itself so the direction of C will also be towards this side so my free body diagram for this will be like this right students so students we know that uh, because these two forces are positive their direction is towards positive x-axis so we will take FCB plus FAB and then we know that because uh, these are two coulomb forces so it will be KQCQB over R square in case of CB and in case of AB it will be KQAQB over R square we have plug in all the values in the standard units and then uh, when, we, when we will put this in our calculator we will get sum of all forces on B charge is 157 Newton and because it's positive so we can say that its direction is towards right and now for charge C notice that charge C is negative so charge B will attract charge C towards itself so its direction will be here in this direction and charge A is also positive so it will also attract charge A towards uh, charge C towards itself so the direction of both forces will be in the same direction and towards negative x-axis so this is the free body diagram for charge C and we can say that sum of all the forces that are on charge C equals to minus FBC minus FAC because of negative x-axis because their direction is towards negative x-axis and we know that minus FBC means minus K Q B Q C over R square minus K in case of AC it will be Q A Q C over R square and now plug in all the values so when we will plug in all the values uh, you can do it by your own self you will get minus triple one Newton and because of minus sign we can say that it is towards left so I hope this question is clear to you guys don't forget to subscribe my channel and share with your friends and if you have any query you can ask me in the comment section